Hi, in this lesson, we'll look at the object superclass. Recall from our previous lessons that classes can form a hierarchy where each of the subclasses has access to all of the public methods of a parent. At the top of our hierarchy is the object class, which is a part of the built-in java.lang package. While the object class has several different methods, in this course, we are only going to focus on two the equals and the toString method. Both of these methods are included in the Java Quick Reference Guide and should be familiar to you at this point. The equals class compares two objects and is often overridden by a subclass. Using the object level version of the equals method, Java returns true only if the two objects are represented by the same object in memory. This is often not very helpful, which is why we see this method overwritten by subclasses. A good example where we see the equals method overwritten is the string object. A string object equals method compares each character of the string to determine if they are the same, not just if they are the same objects. The toString method is another commonly used and commonly overwritten method from the object class. Remember, when an object name is called with no method, the toString is returned as a string representation of the object. The generic toString for an object is to return the object type followed by an at symbol and then the unsigned hexadecimal representation of the object. This has limited value, which is why it is often overridden. There are many examples where the toString method is overridden. For example, in our person class, we override the toString method to return the name of the person. As a recap, remember that the object class is the superclass of all other classes in Java and is part of the java.lang package. While the object class has about 11 different methods, the two most common methods that we see are the equals and toString methods, both of which are often overridden by subclasses. Now that you've learned more about the object superclass, let's get some practice using it in the editor. 